back on this trike business. What I got here is a uh, failure to communicate. No, I got uh, one bracket here to hold uh, the top of the fender, but what we have here is a little bit of play back and forth, and it seems to me that there's two holes here. So I found uh, some of this rod, some of this rod, and I thought maybe I could weld um, a washer on the end of it on an angle or something for maybe inside here and then one for that side and then maybe uh, cut a slit in it or something right here or wherever it may be cut and, and put it on this washer and weld it onto that. That way it'll be uh, stabilized from there to there and it won't want to do that on both sides. But also, I don't know if I showed you this, but inside here, since I narrowed these forks, the forks were made for those fat tires, I narrowed the forks, and I had a spacer made. But you see this piece here to the spacer has to go up against this. So I've got to cut that much off of this, so because this actually goes right through, okay? I just didn't know exactly where it was going. So this here is actually going to go right up against this. And then the wash is going to go with uh, the pipe weld, the, the tube welded onto it across to there. And uh, that's what we're going to go with now. But I have to get that tire in the middle dead center and... Uh, determine out because both of them are like that so we'll have to get to that and figure that out and then make a couple of these it's like all right all right look at this let's look onto it i put a little uh bend in it welded that on there good welded that on there good oh yeah she's on there good so this is gonna go like like that so you see it that and then if you look right here is how it's gonna fit in there flat and then I went down and I put a little bend in it and then I cut a little slit in it so let me show you let me put this together here well all right so there we have it we have a nut, a nut there with uh, a nut and bolt inside there coming straight across and this is actually going to get I didn't move that in yet but this is going to get moved in and then uh, I will uh, I'm going to cut this slit just a little bit bigger and uh, I'm going to slip this on there and weld it onto that washer so that'll be that so it has a little bend in it right there that gives it you know enough play hee 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 fabrication is always fun Always fun. So if you look, there's, there's plenty of room. Plenty of room. In the back there, too. So now i got to make another one of those for the other side. I hunted through my stuff, and I found another one, so I'm in luck. So that's cool as hell. I didn't think I uh, I could fabricate that good, but I guess I can as I can. So now I'm going to have to uh, cut these down and get this front end all situated. I don't even know if I showed you that. Look at that bracket. With the bolt going right through it. Boom. That light looks good on there. Hey, thanks for the Timmy Hortons. You're welcome. Have a safe trip. They're all leaving me. I'm glad you enjoyed your donuts. Don't cop a kill Timmy too much. Timmy Hortons. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, I'll talk to you later. Be good. Man. Have a safe trip. Thank hey, you. tell the Canadians, the Canucks will be up that way if they're looking for us. <laughs> hey? They're all going to hide now, Ron. We're going, for a, <laughs> we're going for a rip. We're going for a rip. Well, friggin' rice, friggin' rice. I'm in here with the Inwood custom shirt on, representing Pug One, doing some fabrication on a bike. 
And looky, worms in my bum. Timmy Horton is delivered. Freaking right. I guess uh, Dizzy's got to have a break with the donuts now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you, Ron sister. You're the bestest. Oh shit, he scored himself one. Yeah, he got himself a good one today. Three dollars, he said. She said, yep. She turned this one down. Well, now she with this one. Oh, Jesus. What two dollars will get you nowadays, eh? They can get you one of those. Or if, in this guy's case, some heartache. <laughs> He's out here with no shoes on. What the hell? I guess they're done. Okay. I'm not sure what the problem here is. He lost his shoes. He Lost his mind. Lost his Dunkin' Donuts wrapper? Oh. <laughs> oh. He must be looking for a used needle or something. Yeah, that's what he's looking for. A used needle. <laughs> well, I got the chair there. If you look close, I welded washers to the legs. I cleaned up the bottoms of them and uh, welded washers on there to make them last, you know, so they don't poke into the dirt. And then on this chair, the bottom where you sit was was broken. Here it is here. Whoa. Sorry about that. There it is here, so I cut this whole thing off of there. It was like someone's butt went right through it or something. Someone's butt went right through it. So, what I did was I got some stretch metal here. But the difference on mine is, first of all, it's, it's thicker. And um, the, the uh, holes are much smaller. See the holes there? And now see the holes here? So I actually cut a square out of it, if you see. And then I went to work today and I fixed the chair. I have one more to do, but I'll show you. I don't know what you can see. I can't see a damn thing. So I welded that on there, cleaned it all up and painted it green. I have one more with, uh, I put washers on these ones too. Uh, on all the bases. I don't know what you can see. Sorry about that. So I just got, uh, this chair is okay. It just needs washers on the bottom, but this one has a hole in it too. So I'm going to have to do this one too. But the backs are good and the rest of the chairs are good. Whew. I know this. It's mad hot out there. I have to come in here to cool off. But I painted it with the uh, with the real John Deere. Ooh, can you see it? Can you see the? There it is. The real John Deere green. Farm equipment. So that should last a while. You're right.